I had this uh, guy who said something to me on my message board that said that uh, I give too much. I, I am a too much attached to the idea that I'm responsible for my own success. And he's saying that a lot of people that are very intelligent people can barely uh, rise above subsistence and barely, barely get through and feed themselves. And I'm like, that is horseshit. That's yeah, it's also, it's also not even the conversation to have. It's also, what's the point? The point then is you're making Well, the excuse. point is you're saying that you know, I shouldn't be taking credit for anything that I've done and that I just got lucky. But that's ridiculous because, what, I got lucky at everything? Everything from martial arts to comedy to commentary to running a podcast, all that shit's luck. All that shit's luck? That's crazy talk. Like to say that someone is lucky because they've achieved success that you have been able to achieve is so self serving and so stupid. Yeah, of course it is. It's also giving him it's also letting himself off the hook. Right. It's exactly. suggesting that, that that luck is all chance. There is luck there is luck in, in, sure. in success to a degree of always, but but at the same time, you you're not serving yourself in any way by even having that conversation with yourself. Exactly. You're making an excuse for yourself and and even if your excuse is valid, even if you actually have a great you you know you I don't know, your whole family, God forbid, dies in a fire. No Nobody really at the end of the day cares. You've got to suck it up and figure out a way to make whatever happens to you work for you. You can't control the weather, but you can control how you react to it. You show me a successful – or you show me an intelligent person rather who uh, is involved in any sort of endeavor but is unsuccessful, and I'll show you someone who's doing it wrong. That's right. That's all it is. That's and right. there's, if there's people that are doing right. it right, there's – look, maybe they got more opportunities than you did or than he did. But maybe they got less than that guy and they managed to succeed anyway. Listen, this there's, guy, no, there's no evenness to yeah. the world. You just have what you're handed. This, and this, yeah. like these, these, this style of thinking that you know, somehow or another, oh, you know what, man? You just got real lucky. You should be really happy about all the things that happened to you. No. Barring health – issues which many people occur which can fucking completely blow up any plans that you have you have to deal with cancer you have to deal with anything barring that and barring psychological issues or mental deficiencies or anything physical if you're a normal person and you have an interest in something the only thing that's stopping you from being successful if other people are successful is you haven't figured it out your methodology it doesn't necessarily mean you're a loser it could mean you haven't figured out how to win yet or you're going to eventually you just haven't applied those things or you could even die as an old man who's still trying you're still not a loser you're just a guy who hasn't figured out how to be a winner by the way, there there are there are ways to look look for the people that are successful. There are people that can show you how to manage yourself in image, manage managing you know how you think about the world, managing how you choose to react to things that happen to you in the world. That's fucking very important. Learning you know how to talk to yourself. Important? Here's the most important thing, the most important thing. Surround yourself with other people who are doing the same. That's right. They will inspire you. And who, are, who hold you to, to, a, to the same standard they hold yes. themselves yes. and are honest with you. Yes, very important. Um, when I grew up, one of the big things about um, growing up and being ambitious is I had two friends. Both of them were named Jimmy, Jimmy Smith or Jimmy Dottilio and Jimmy Lawless. There's two friends who both had businesses while I was in high school. And these motherfuckers would get up early, and Lawless was a contractor, it was a carpenter, and uh, Dottilio was an electrician. And he had employees. By the time we were 18, this motherfucker wow. had a truck, he had employees, wow. he was getting up in the morning. They were ambitious. They got shit done. And if you were a lazy fuckhead sitting around on your couch watching television, not doing anything, they looked at you like you were a loser. Mm-hmm. And that work ethic, that like sort of East Coast work ethic... Having those guys around me when I was young, when I even though Huge. I had this completely alternative way of living, you know, with martial arts competitions and stuff like that, I still, I, I knew dudes that worked hard, mm-hmm. and I, I felt these my, my friends worked hard. I have to keep myself up to that same sort of standard. If I had a bunch of losers who were just smoking weed all day and sleeping, who knows? Who knows where I would right. be? 